Anji, you are a co-founder and CEO of what's called Doze, and you help companies to um, send their, their sites global, correct? Yeah, this is and you didn't have the warmest reception from, from Dave McClure. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't, you weren't asking for band-aids because he was really going after you. What was his biggest concern? He was talking about it was the fact that it's distracting to to you know focus on on the international market so soon. Yeah, I think he didn't get everything at the first. We have a big issues to explain in really few seconds what we are doing exactly uh, because main technology is in the back end in the algorithms. Uh, but he get uh, more um, cool when we talk about money and that we are already make revenues <laughs> and cash flow positive. And <laughs> money, so, yeah. money are always talk. So you know you do still have just a couple of minutes here. But explain to us, um, you know, what you said you said to him in terms of you know what you guys are doing to help him understand. Yeah. So basically, we help website to go international by finding marketing professionals in the market they are targeting. Um, we have algorithms that first analyze the website to know exactly what this website needs. When they select their campaign and uh, the country they want to enter, we adapt this website and see, okay, this website wants to go in Brazil, we have to find this guy that knows about this industry, that is native from Brazil, that has expertise in the marketing in Brazil, etc., mm. etc. Et because the marketing we are doing is not advertising. It's organic marketing, search, social media, and blog. And those are really cultural sensitive. It's about creating content from there. It's not translation. It's about finding the right keywords, finding the right social media. Might not be the same as in the US, et cetera, et cetera. So you're almost, in a sense, a headhunter. Yeah, kind of. Automate, uh, automated, but like... Automated headhunter. Yeah, yeah, like for marketing purpose. Uh, so today we have over 3,000 um, uh, marketing experts in 20 countries. And we are growing using external marketplace APIs. So we don't have to recruit our own. We just have to make call to APIs and say, OK, on Odesk, they will have this and this and these guys that are interesting for these brands, for example. And, and what you said helped um, Dave um, kind of calm down just a little bit and, and, and lay off um, and, and get what you're doing is the fact that you are making money. Yeah, we, we made a, a half a million in revenues in our prototyping with no sales force and no and marketing. Pro really? Prototype, yeah. And how in long Europe. have you guys been around? Um, so the, the technology we have been working on, we are working on since three years in France. Uh, but this product is out for over a year. Not, not out, like it's really public, uh, private beta, uh, even private, private beta. Um, yeah, we like we have recurring revenues from the campaign, and usually our customers increase their the budget. And you haven't, you didn't officially launch till today. No. I, that, that, I don't hear that very often that people have made a half million dollars in revenues before they even. Yeah, we like we launch. actually we we prefer like to test. It's really big. Like the algorithms uh, on the back is really powerful and really has to to uh, analyze a lot of data. So we really want to make sure that it's working and that we will be 100% each time on each campaign we are making profit. Because if we launch a campaign without knowing exactly what has to be done, we will have to pay experts and maybe we won't get enough money to cover this. So it's all about like automation, etc. So we have to make sure. And that's why now we are ready, so that's why we launch. So the whole process, even to the marketing person, is, is completely automated. Yeah. So there is still like, that's why, that's what takes uh, us a lot of time. It was like automation, analysis of the task, how, how much time it takes to make a task, how much in average they will be asking to get paid for this specific task, etc. But now it's like, I will say 99% automated. So the company that is coming and asking you for your service, they don't have to then go pay a marketing person exactly, separately. Exactly, exactly. This is it. This is not crowdsourcing. We call it pro-sourcing. We qualified professionals and we, the platform manage them. They, they, they get pushed by tasks, they do the task, and they ask money directly from the platform. So they don't have to, to go after the client, ask for brief, etc. So, yeah. so who are your competitors? Um, Who's today, doing this in, in even a different way? So today we, we look at crowdsourcing marketplace. We think they are doing great, but they are not, uh, they are not made for doing uh, front-end um, uh, actions or front-end marketing campaigns. They are doing great in like maybe uh, back-end development, etc. 
So like all the process we have been doing is based on marketing purpose. We, we have been watching agencies, how big brands are working, how they, how they split each task, etc., how they work, the workflow, and we integrate it into our platform. So we don't think we have one direct competitor right now, uh, but obviously like automotive software for marketing and uh, automation software for marketing and crowdsourcing marketplace can be seen as com indirect competitors. Based on what you've learned here from Jason Calacanis and, mm -hmm. and his team as well as the judges, what are you going to do differently from here on out? I think uh, the main thing that we have been working for like over months in the rehearsal, etc., is like how to simplify what we do and show the big picture. Um, we have been working so much uh, just on our computer without you know, uh, looking at everything around us. So for me, it's really clear what we do. But for other people, it's really hard. So Jason and Tyler did a great job by teaching us how to, to present and how to, yeah, to give examples, etc. So yeah, the next thing now, now we are starting. So we have been doing the technology side. Now we want to do all the marketing and the sales uh, at scale. So it will be a lot of PR, a lot of marketing. Um, and yeah, so this is, a, this is what we want to, to go uh, from now.